His efforts at the plate over the weekend earn him Whack Hitter of the Week honors. May not be the biggest guy, but he swings a big bat. And because of that, he's Robert Kikaula's pick as our Hawaii MVP this week. Yep, talking about Rainbow second baseman Colton Wong. He was a U.S. junior, hit 556, 10 for 18 with two homers, six RBI, and a pair of doubles, helping the Bulls split their series with Portland. Through 16 games this season, Kamehameha Big Island alum leads the Rainbows with a 386 average, 25 total hits, two home runs, and nine runs scored. Colton Wong, this week's pick as Hawaii MVP. On the way. That ball is hit deep to right field. Sunday was Powerball. Two-run blast tied their game with the Pilots in the eighth. I was excited. You know, it gave us that much-needed victory. There's a shot to right field. That ball is deep. That ball is gone. He did it again. Followed that up with a walk-off rip in a tenth. Being able to jump at home was something that I love doing and I enjoy doing, so it was, it was a good time. Colton Wong, what a performance. One of those series, simple as it gets, Wong says, sea ball, hit ball. When the ball just looks so big to you and you're hitting and you know, everything came in place. Not the first time we've seen Colton put back to long ball more than once in the game. Three of his 11 homers as a freshman came against Loyola Marymount using an aluminum bat. But the ping's not the thing anymore. NCAA changed the bats this season. The sound's gone. Less compression on impact. No more trampoline effect adding distance. Because of the new bats, we're going to separate the boys from the men, basically. <laughs> the big change in college baseball. You zoned in now? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it took a while to get, like, find out the sweet spot. It's so small in that bat. The change in bats had a huge effect on the game. Power's down and games are shorter, but Colton's trained with a wooden bat since Little League, so he understands smaller sweet spots. Lessons learned by his lifelong hitting coach, his dad, Kaha, taught him the Wong way. He's taught me since I was a little kid, and you know, even to, to, till today, we keep working on hitting, and I mean, he's been the guy that I go through for everything. And part of what Wong's been taught is successful at bats start before you get to the plate. What's going through your mind when you're standing on deck watching the pitcher? Uh, just trying to see what his best pitch is, basically just react. Also during the Portland series, head coach Mike Trapasso summoned Colton to play catcher for the first time in his college career. And with bat in hand, he shines. You go four for five, Trap might make you catch more often. <laughs> yeah, he said that, but next day I kind of paid for it with the legs. Under college rules, Wong's draftable at season's end. And many expect he'll go much higher than the 16th round selection the Twins used on him out of high school. But at what position will he play for Penn? You played outfield, you played catcher, you played infield, second base. Where's your future lie, really? I feel second base. I mean, I feel like that's where I'm going to be used the most, and that's where I can allow all my tools to be shown at second base. Colton Wong's been a hitting machine during his UH career. Rainbows this week play four with Centenary starting on Friday night. Good player. Now, if you have a suggestion for Hawaii MVP, drop us a line, let us know. Simply contact us at KITV.com.